Fewer Americans are getting married and having children, with experts concerned the nation is not reproducing itself. Church Milton's Paul Morano gets at the roots of a problem that may be leading to the U.S. to national suicide. The avoidance of commitment in parenthood is concerning to Victor Davis Hansen of Hoover Institution and Tucker Carlson of Fox News. Good evening and welcome to Tucker Carlson tonight. The fear Hansen articulated Thursday night on Carlson's show is that America is not having enough babies and is at its lowest birth rate in over 40 years. And our crisis right now is that we're not reproducing ourselves. Carlson framed the question, taking into consideration the mentality that encompasses our anti-life culture. Do you f find it interesting that they are so offended by fertility and nature and the idea that people reproduce and that's okay, you know, that we men and women come together and create new life. Like the whole thing is repulsive to them. Why is that? The problem is twofold, mentioned Hansen. The first is fear of adulthood. We're suffering from what? Prolonged adolescence. These, these children, or they have adult bodies, but they have the minds of children. They don't want to grow up. Hansen gives a high profile example of this. AOC is a good example of a person who's suffering from prolonged adolescence. And she said she doesn't want to have children because of climate change. The second problem, however, is legitimate. The economy and student debt has made permanent commitment especially challenging today. I don't know if it's because of $1.7 trillion in student debt or the economy, but they just don't right. want to take off their training wheels and go out and experience life and its, its adventures and dangers. What the pair didn't explain is the causal relationship between feminism and the reshaping of the economy. In past generations, it took one income to marry young and have a family. Many could buy a house with several children on one blue-collar income. The age when people are getting married, having children, buying a home, buying a house has gone from mid-20s to mid-30s. But since the contraception revolution neutered women in sterilized couples, women were led into the workplace to find their fulfillments. This gradually reshaped the economy and made the two-income family a necessity for many, contributing to the breakdown of the family. Well, I think it's because it started with the feminist movement that they felt that that impaired a woman's future. Contraception also reshaped the sexual landscape, separating sex from children and sex from marriage. It created a fornication culture that cheapened marriage and made permanent commitment expendable. With economic and sexual politics weaponized against marriage and the family, it's no surprise American society is dying a slow death. Paul Morano, Church Militant Evening News, Detroit. Hansen further noted American society is reproducing at a birth rate of around 1.8 children per woman, that is well below the necessary replacement rate of 2.1.